Elmer Buck is the chairman of the Committee for Foreign Politics at the European Parliament in Strasbourg. He's very much aware of what's going on in the Middle East and especially what his country fellow, uh, Frank Walter Steinmeier, the foreign minister from Germany, is doing in uh, creating perhaps a peace plan, at least a ceasefire in uh, Israel Palestinian conflict. Let's hear what his opinion is. No, what we can achieve now is to get a ceasefire. And I think that the Egyptian initiative is very much important to that which Israel has accepted, but Hamas not yet. I think that is what can be achieved. It should be the firing of missiles on Israel stopped as well as the shelling and bombing of Gaza by Israel. I think that is the important question, and that is what we can achieve for the moment. Can EU play any kind of role? I think European Union plays a role as member of the Quartet. We have stabilized the West Bank. We know that the hospitals, the doctors, the teachers are paid by the European Union to make things work. But on the other side, I think we have to cooperate in the Quartet, especially with the United States, but also the United Nations and Russia, to bring the negotiations between uh, Ramallah and Jerusalem on the plate again, uh, which is very much important. They have to find a solution, which is uh, a way to come to a two-state solution. It seems that focus had been shifted now from Ukraine to the, to the. I say it again. I take mm -hmm. it again. It seems that focus had been shifted now from Ukraine to the um, Near East. What's going on in Ukraine? Is EU watching still what's going on? No, the European is, the Union is watching. Uh, we are in close contact uh, with Kiev, but also the European Union as well. Member states have close contacts to Moscow in order to facilitate a conference. And I think it was the result of the meeting of Chancellor Merkel and President Putin in Rio de Janeiro that now the two sides in Ukraine start to talk again via video conference uh, to each other which is an important step, but also we have to make clear uh, to Russia uh, that we need a strong Ukrainian OECD mission at the borders, that not Russian material can come into Ukraine in order to support the separatists and uh, strengthen their role there. But even if we have a hot summer right now, uh, a winter is coming up, do you foresee any difficulties in the supply of uh, natural gas? That might happen, but I think uh, we have made a lot of preparations for that so that we are not so uh, weak as we were before. And Russia has to know that they depend much more on selling gas. And Russia has big economic problems at the moment because there are no investments come anymore. Uh, money is flowing out of uh, Russia. Uh, they have a minus 3% growth rate. Uh, so hopefully there is uh, enough uh, understanding in Russia uh, that a solution which gives the Ukraine the right to organize their own country uh, can be reached. Final question. In the UK they have changed foreign minister with the EU critical uh, personality coming instead of Herc. What is your opinion about that change? In the Ukraine? No, 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 no. no, no. UK. Ah. United Kingdom, I think that is... Uh, the preparations for elections, perhaps of an out, uh, outgoing government. And uh, I do not think that William Hague, who was a very strong personality, whether you liked him or not, uh, is replaced by someone who will not play such a role in the international scene. But I think that is a classical preparation for an elections in three quarters of a year.